say, ah, I'm so afraid. At that moment, that's what will decide how things turn out, right? If when you're afraid and you and you go like a turtle and you go back into your shell, right? Or if you're afraid and you're like, I feel awkward and afraid, but I'm going to move forward. Oh, wow. Then you can really improve. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, you, you become happy. <laughs> Waiting for Gotcha Rush, also known as my daughter. Hey, Chloe. Hey. How are you? Good. Surprised to see you on Instagram Live. <laughs> okay. So, what would you like to say? Well, I wanted to say that actually I posted on my Instagram and story that it was actually going to be my birthday soon. And it was on April 23. But then I just got an idea that maybe on April 21, I would, like, have a day with a friend of mine. And, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. So, can you say, well, maybe we'll welcome everyone that's popping in. We already have 15 people, 16. All right. So, I guess... Uh, Anything else you'd like to say? We'll get started with the lesson. Nothing else. All right. Keep thinking about your birthday and enjoy your pink headphones. <laughs> okay. I got to kick you out. All right. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Daikin. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. So, hello, hello, everyone. Let's see. Mustafa RZ says, has she learned English from you in this gorgeous level? <laughs> yeah, my daughter hangs around with me quite a bit, so she probably absorbs my English. Okay. All right. Hello, hello. All right. So, let's jump in. Let's get started with the lesson. The sooner we get through our first two parts, the quicker we can go live with you guys and talk. I've got stuff all planned for today. Okay, so let's turn around the camera. Here we go. All right, first things first, we focus. Yay, we're focused. Hey, I know that guy. <laughs> okay, that's me from ableidioms.com. All right, so what we're going to do today, we're going to do an inspirational quote. We'll explore a meme. And we'll talk about what a meme is, and we're going to invite viewers live. That's you guys. Okay, so let's jump right into the inspirational quote. Here we go. All right, I think it's focused, but let's see. All right, I think it'll work. Okay, so the quote for today is, Don't let one cloud obliterate the whole sky. Short sweet and to the point okay so you guys repeat after me and we'll work on our pronunciation if you repeat after me and practice your pronunciation then give me some apples in the comments okay repeat after me don't let one cloud obliterate the whole sky and I suppose it's fitting to add a picture right so in the sky, we got a blue sky, but we just have one cloud. And let's see, the person who said this quote is whoop, behind the cloud. <laughs> okay. Her name is Anais Nin. Anais Nin, I think that's how you say her name. And she was a writer, an essayist, and I guess pretty famous in her time. So she is the one who said, don't let one cloud obliterate the whole sky. So there's one word in here, I think, which is the one that you guys might have questions about. So does anybody know what the word obliterate means? Hmm. And let's see if we can focus a little bit better. 
What does the word obliterate mean? Any ideas? Because I can, I, I'll put some synonyms, but if you guys have an idea, that would be great. And we can start. What does the word obliterate mean? Let's see. All right. Hi, hi, hello, everyone. Okay. Key in English says cover. Hmm. Let's see. Not quite. Obliterate is, let's see. No idea. Okay. All right. Well, how about this? I'll put another word that's similar to it. And then you guys, aha, ain't the same says destroy. Right. Destroy. Very good. So if you obliterate something, you destroy it. You wipe it out. You annihilate it. You demolish it. <laughs> you ruin it. All right. So all of these words and phrases have similar meanings to obliterate. So if you obliterate something, then you destroy it. So in the in the or uh, in the quote, don't let one cloud obliterate the whole sky. So what do you think? Ah, Mustafa RZ says disrupt. That's pretty good. Disrupt has a similar idea. It's not as strong as obliterate, but it's in the right direction, right? So let's see. If this is the picture, and it's just one one cloud in the sky. So don't let one cloud destroy the whole sky. Or don't let one cloud ruin the whole sky. What do you guys think this quote means? Hmm. Hmm. It's very <laughs> it's a very good quote. It's simple and sweet and straight to the point. And I think what we're trying to say, what she's trying to say, the way I understand it, is don't let something small ruin everything, right? Devastate, annihilate. All right, see what you guys are saying, right? So maybe you had your hopes up for a beautiful sky with no clouds, and then one cloud pops up, and you get pissed off. <laughs> and I think the whole idea is that, you know, there will be bumps in life, and things will not be perfect all the time. And there are a lot of small things that we can complain about. But it's better to look at the big picture and keep going. Ain't the same says a small obstacle mustn't stop you. Yes. All right. Mustafa RZ says take your chance to do something. However, you might not be as perfect as the other person. Sure. That's fine. And even if it's not perfect, we move forward. Okay. So once again. The person who said this quote was a nice nin, and she was a, a writer. Okay, all right, so let's move forward. Let's go to, we just did the inspirational quote, so now let's explore a meme. Mmm, a meme, and the word is meme. So we'll answer the question, what is a meme? When we pronounce it, it's not meme, it's not mem, it's not, <laughs> it's meme. It rhymes with dream. All right, let's see, key in English. It means that we shouldn't give up if we encounter a single problem. Yes, I agree. Keep going. All right, so this is the definition of a meme. A meme is something, such as a video, picture, or phrase, that a lot of people send to each other on the Internet. If you ever hear the phrase, something went viral, uh, then it's possible it could have been a meme where everybody and everybody and their mother wanted to see it and was liking it. So let's jump right in and see the meme for today. Here we go. <laughs> okay, I think this was pretty funny. Let's see. Okay, so we'll describe the picture first. There's a guy. He's got a lot of hair. It's thick hair. It's not like long hair, but it's like thick hair. There's a lot of hair on this guy's head. And his face is kind of like, hmm, trying to be smooth, trying to be, <laughs> oh, that's trying to be, uh, I don't know, <laughs> smooth, I guess is probably the right word, trying to get the girls to like him. 
So he's got a nice bright red shirt on. It looks like he has a turtleneck. And the background is blurry, so it's difficult to see where he is. I'm going to guess that he's inside. And okay, so he's looking at something over in this direction. Maybe, probably a woman or a nice looking lady or someone he's attracted to. So he says, hey girl, <laughs> hey girl, do you love water? That means you love 80% of me. <laughs> All right, so, right, so he's using the statistic that our bodies are made up of, I thought it was like two thirds, or I guess 70%, I don't know, I don't know the exact percentage, but it's pretty high. Our bodies are made up of water, right? So I guess you could kind of say this is a pickup line where he wants to attract the attention of the girl. And so he says, hey, girl, do you love water? That means you love 80% of me. <laughs> All right, Mustafa says he had he played a, a role in the Big Bang Theory, right, in that TV show. All right, let's see. Ain't the same says that's a fact he's telling, <laughs> right? All right. Key in English says, yeah, 80% of the body has been made by water. So if girls love water, then they're going to love him. That's right. <laughs> so he's trying to use logic, I guess, to get the idea across that, hey, girl, if you like water, you're going to love me. Well, at least 80%. Now, what happens with the other 20%? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so this is the meme from today. And another way to explain a meme is it's just a picture, maybe a funny picture or a funky picture, and then they add some sort of caption. And then it, the whole thing together sends a message and they try to, it tries to make you laugh. Okay, so that was the meme. <laughs> Ghazal Hosseini says, scientifically funny. <laughs> right? Okay. So, I think we're going to move forward. All right. So, we did the inspirational quote. We explored a meme. And now it's time to invite viewers live. And today, I have a theme. Hmm. Today's theme is reporters. So all of the images that we're going to see are connected to or related to the theme or the topic of reporters. So, okay, let's see who, I'm going to flip back around. Do you guys know that I'm still here besides just my, my beautiful voice? <laughs> okay, so today's theme is reporters. Mm. So I have pictures, and I have GIF images, which are just like motion pictures. And let's see if anybody's ready to join. All right, let's look at the queue. It says Tian Sept says, you want to put in a request? All right, let's add. We'll see what happens. Okay, let me get a drink of water first. Okay, hello? Hi. Okay, let's see if the connection is good. Yes, right. I think. Can, can you see me and hear me? Yeah, I can see you. Okay, because uh, yours is, is frozen. Let's see. Can anybody in the comments, can you, or can, can you tell me your name and where you're from? All right, I don't think this connection is going well. All right, so we have another request. All right, let's see. Okay, let's go for Bunguen Wen. Wen? 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 All right, let's see. All right, so let's try someone else. Da -da -da. Waiting for Bu Bu Wen one two three. Hello? Hello. How are you? I'm okay. All right. Can I get your name and where you're from? Uh, my name's Heather. I'm from Vietnam. Vietnam. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, Ga Mung 
for coming live. Is that right? Yeah, uh, come on live. Yeah, thank you. Come on, Miss. Thank you. All right. I haven't said anything in Vietnamese for a while. Okay. So, um, have you seen my lives before? Yes, sir. All I right. I really like uh, your video, and I follow because uh, the way you talk, like the way you talk, is really uh, uh, convenient and uh, is very helpful for us for the live stream like that. Okay. So I think you have an idea what we're going to do today, right? I'm going to show you a picture, and I'm going to ask you to describe it to me, okay? Yeah. All right. Let's I'm ready do it. Now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to flip the camera around, and like I said, the the theme today is reporters. Let's see. I have to line it up. Here we go. Okay. All right. Let me try to focus. Give me, aha, not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, oh. I, I can saw it. All right, whenever you're ready, go ahead and. Uh, I, I saw in the picture, I see uh, the man is a uh, reporter. And uh, uh, the picture has the car behind the main. And... Um, Okay. You can ask me a question. Okay. Can you tell me about the man's, the reporter's clothing? Clothing? His clothing. What's it mean? Uh, the, clo the clothes that he's wearing. Where's, where's he? No, uh, the clothing, like uh, his shirt, his pants, his, the stuff that he's wearing. Can you tell me about oh, what he's okay. wearing? Got it. Um, All right. He wear uh, the suit with the red tie and okay. uh, uh, white t-shirt, uh, white white shirt. Okay. Uh, and uh, look so uh, formal, right? Or informal? Formal, right? Yes, very formal, like a business yeah, suit. Formal. <laughs> right. Uh, very good. Very good. And what color suit would you th would you say he's wearing? Uh, he's wearing a black shirt, right? Yeah, I think so. It's either black or dark gray, but yeah, yeah that's yeah. correct. And um, uh, how he about his? A... Go black ahead. Hair. Yeah, he okay. has a black hair, uh, and uh, his guy, uh, his uh, his eyes close, so I don't know where uh, <laughs> his palate. So, uh, he seems to be uh, reporting about something. In the TV, uh, like uh, he he lies uh, reporting at the lead, right? Right. And what do you call the thing that he's holding in in his hand to to record his voice? I cannot see it. In his well, hand. well, most reporters like if I go back to this picture. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, Michael. That's right. What call Ma Michael, right? Microphone, right? Yeah, microphone. Right. And can you tell me a little bit about the location? The location, like uh, on the street, on the city. Uh, 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 I seem to be like on the park. Okay. And what time of day do you think it is? Uh. I thought that's the night. It's the night time. Okay. And what makes you think that it's night time? I agree with you. I'm just uh, curious. I I see. Uh, I saw the light. Uh, the the light lamp. Uh, uh -huh. The light road, and uh, uh, it's very dark. Uh, it's a, it's a dark. So, I guess the it's a night time. Right, the the sky, the sky is pretty much black, so it's probably late at night. Um, and so this this picture is still, and in a moment I'm going to make it move. Do you have any predictions or ideas about what will happen? What happened? I I I guess like they have. Uh, I I saw the let uh, the letter. Like a test, guess, T, 
the first uh, tour. He's a he's a tour guy, right? Um, uh, I think he's just a reporter, and I'm not exactly sure what he's talking about. On screen, it says Aztecs get first. You, saw, you, you can saw, you can saw uh, the le um, the letter uh, they show on the TV. Uh huh. Uh, I saw the letter tournament tournament, right? A tournament, yes, an NCAA. Yeah, tournament. Right, and so maybe he's talking about the basketball game because NCAA. Yeah, yeah. He, he's is, talking about uh, some sport or some. Uh, I, I'm I'm not sure. Uh, right. Okay. Well, I'm going to make the image start moving, and then just watch and explain what's happening. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Wow. It's the car. Oh, the car. <laughs> the touching him. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> so, can, so can can you describe? What the SUV or what the vehicle is doing? Uh, the vehicle is uh, turn back, turning back and uh, hitting and hit back. Uh huh. So we could say the vehicle is backing up. Yeah. And we can see, we can see its uh, reverse lights, the white lights, which are a signal that it's moving backwards. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. And and why do you think it doesn't stop? In yeah. Because uh, he's uh, still focused on uh, what, what, what hap uh, what his job happened. So that's why right. he, he, uh, he not, he cannot focus uh, on the back. He just uh, focus, and uh, the people uh, we call him didn't remind him about that. So that's why. Right. <laughs> and does it look like the the vehicle actually touched him, or what do you think? Uh. I thought that's like uh, somebody else uh, uh, in the vehicle, um, uh -huh. like uh, choking him, right? Someone kind of jumps in to try to help him move away, right? Uh huh. Right, and what after this is all finished? If he talks with the driver of the car, what do you think he might say? Uh, he's. I thought like uh, he feel to be uh, furious. <laughs> furious, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. And, but uh, because uh, he's in the public, so uh, I I thought about like he's um he's have to be furious, but he he know how to uh, chill out uh, his um attitude. So because uh, everybody uh, uh report him on TV, so he he cannot uh, Show up uh, for uh, his right. attitude for everybody because right. a lot of people uh, can see him on the TV. Right. So even though he almost got hit very hard, uh, he has to be respectful, or other people might not like yeah. him <laughs> yeah. or want to watch him anymore. Yeah. yeah. So let's pretend, pretend he's not a reporter. And mm -hmm. what do what do you think he might say to the driver if so he's not? He, he have uh, he might just say something like uh, give um, he has to be a uh, furious uh, of course right and uh, uh, he has to say with the driver like uh, give him the insurance call or something some information about the car or personal information about uh, the driver. Sure. Uh, that yeah. accident. Yeah, yeah. If he got hurt, and I would agree, he's probably would be upset, maybe angry, maybe furious, like you said, and he would probably want to talk with the driver and say, uh, "What the heck are you doing?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> right. What the hell? Don't you see me? Because plus, when the guy's backing up, he should be able to see this big camera, right, with lights. Yeah. yeah. But maybe the person's using their phone. Maybe they're using Instagram. <laughs> yeah, maybe sometimes. Maybe uh, he's the uh, live stream with you for that time. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he focused right? on the English, so that's what he not focused on. What happened on the back? Right. So 
Okay, um, I'll just ask one more question. Uh, if this, if this was a movie, what name of the movie would you give it? The name of the movie. Uh, right. Uh, I can give the name like the main. Uh, the reporter main uh, was the hitting the drive the vehicle. Sure. Sure. We, I mean, if it was a movie, uh, we could. I, I can tell like um, uh, talk talking telephone driver. <laughs> Instagram <laughs> driver. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, I'm going to switch the camera back around, and then um, I asked you a bunch of questions. So yeah. if you have a if you have a question for me, go ahead. Uh, so uh, I am I my like uh, I really I follow you for a long time, and because I want to improve my skill English, you know. But, okay. Um, uh, I I don't know how to like uh, when. Uh, the new one has happened with me, so I don't know how to like. Um, for example, like I have accident call, so uh, but uh, when I when the police uh, man uh, come uh, come to the my call, and I don't know how to explain something I want to talk about with him. Okay, so you want to have a conversation with the police officer? Yeah. Okay. Well, it would depend <laughs> what the subject is. Uh, did you do something wrong, or you're just having a friendly conversation? So, for example, I uh, I give you for one uh, situation like um, I have accident with another uh, driver uh, driver, and mm -hmm. that's not my fault. Uh, he he hits uh, me on the back. Okay. So, and. Uh, uh, when I explain something and uh, the guys don't understand me, so uh, and he's, I have to call nine one one and the police come uh, come up, you know. And okay. So for that uh, situation, I don't know how how to explain uh, uh, something to to them, uh, make them understand me. Okay. Well, the first tip is probably to to calm down. It might be difficult because. Uh, you know, someone just hit your car, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you're yeah. upset. And when we and when what we, information I have to take from the uh, on uh, another driver? Well, I and what country are you in? Uh, United States. United States. Okay. Well, yeah. depending on the state, but most states you'll need uh, their I'm insurance. In Texas. I'm sorry. Texas. Kansas. No, no, uh, Texas. Texas. Okay. Yeah. Well, it depending on how much uh, damage and stuff, if someone's hurt, then they're going to have to file a report. But, uh, I mean, at the very least, if there's damage to your car, you're going to need insurance information. Uh, you probably want to write down the information on their driver's license, mm -hmm. uh, get their contact phone number. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I should take a picture? Sure. Take as many pictures as you can. <laughs> oh, okay. Because later, later on. I was a police uh, man before, right? That's your job before. Yes, a while ago I used to be a police officer. So oh. if you take if you take pictures, and uh, it's wonderful because if you go to court, nobody can really lie with the picture unless it's you know, because it's uh, unless you do something with Photoshop. <laughs> mm -hmm. But right, pictures are very good evidence, right? Oh. And uh, you know, after that accident happened, and uh, if the insurance uh, uh, they restore everything, but uh, I don't understand why uh, we have to pay month every month for insurance cost. But uh, after we got the accident, even though uh, it's my fault or not uh, people fault, uh, the insurance fees uh, have to increase. Why? I think. Unfortunately, the reality is that to the insurance company, you have become a greater risk. And when someone is a greater risk, then their premiums go up. And it kind of sucks. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, it's because, so you know, because uh, I, I, I really is like, I, I, I'm upset about that and I, I don't agree. Like, why we have to pay money every month, the insurance, you know, 
I we cannot we cannot uh, we have to we have to buy it. We cannot like uh, ride the car without insurance. You know because if the uh, well, what happened something happened we don't have uh, any insurance call so the police have to give us the ticket or uh, that's that's a horrible but uh, we have to pay money every month but uh, no matter what like uh, the accident happened and uh, that's a my fault or not the people fault but the in, after that the insurance fee have to in, increase so if you ask us another uh, uh, agency so they still like get the fee is so increased either so why because we have to pay money every month so that we we pay it for what happened with us and we don't have to be care about that you know well i would urge you I, i thought about like finally the customer is the uh The, the I, I I think we've <laughs> I I think we've moved past one question, <laughs> and I need to I need to uh, bring other people live because I I'm gonna talk with other people as well. Okay, so I want to yeah. say th- thank you for chatting. I think you'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. You can do research. You can find a lot on Google. You can go to your Texas, uh, your the DMV or the laws in Texas. If you're curious on your free time, you can look around. Oh. Yeah, the answers are there if you're willing to look for them. Okay, thank you. All right, bye. thank you. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, so that was a reporter who almost got smashed by a car, but luckily someone jumped in and kind of said, you know, look out, <laughs> and the car stopped too. So that was good. All right, let's see who we have for request. Maybe, all right. Let's see. All right. It says Nada Jamal. Let's see. Okay, we're waiting for a moment. I'll get my next picture ready. Okay, someone's here. All right. Let's see. Mm-hmm. And the theme today for anyone who's just joining, the theme is reporters. So all of the pictures and the GIF images will have reporters in them. Hello. Hi. Hello. Okay. Uh, can you hear me and see me all right? Yes. Uh, my name is Nada. Nada. And what country are you from? I'm from Egypt. From Egypt. Let's see. So yes. Ah- Ahalan, is that right? Ahalan. Ahlan, yes. I see Ahlan and oh, I'm sorry. We're so we don't worry. We will talk lots of English. <laughs> uh, Ka- Kaifa, Kaifa Halok, is that right? Kaifa Halok. Yes, yes. How, Alhamdulillah. How... <laughs> okay. Yes. I'm I'm sorry. I gotta stop trying to speak my Arabic words. Okay, so. No, uh... that's okay. I like it, but. Uh... I need to tell you something first. Okay. My English is not that good, so I uh, maybe I don't understand a lot of uh, words. Okay, no worries. And I would say to you, don't say my English is not good. Say my English is improving. Right? You're getting better. Okay, yeah. You're okay. studying. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, have you seen a live before with me? Have you seen what we do? Yes, yes, I know. Uh, I see that uh, that uh, you put picture and ask I uh, ex- uh, explain what I see. Right. So you uh, right? Yep, that's correct. So I will show you a picture, and you tell me what you see. And if it's not perfect, if you have a question, no problem. I will help you out. Okay. 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 All right, okay. so I'm going to switch the camera, and I'm going to disappear, and there will be a picture. All okay. right, let me just get in focus, or try to get in focus. Okay, and whenever, all right, the picture's not super clear, but we can kind of tell what's happening. Okay, so what what do you see? Uh, I see a woman. Uh, okay. I think uh, she... She uh, she report uh, reporter, 
uh, to a TV program. Uh, okay. And there is, an, I think, empty street behind her. Okay. And um, I think she's from Chinese. Uh, China, sorry. She's Chinese from China. Right? Okay. And... Uh, okay. Um, I, uh, what? She, uh, she, uh, her hair is brown. Okay. Right. Right. Can you tell uh, me about her, her clothing? Can you tell me about her clothing? Uh, she wearing a jacket. Uh, jacket, uh, I think his, its color... Uh, I don't know, black maybe. Okay. I see it black. And, okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's it. And, and what color? She's a reporter, right? Well, what color is her microphone? Okay. Uh, it's. Um, uh, Okay, yeah, there is a word in uh, in uh, yellow, and the right. microphone. It's uh, uh, I forgot the name. <laughs> <laughs> it's blue. Yeah. Blue. Yes, blue. Yes, blue. Right. And do you have any idea what she's talking about? Um, I think she's talking about uh, a, a war or something. Because okay. the street is empty, and I think okay. there's some uh, something happened in the street, so it's, it's reporting maybe there's explosion or there is a war or I don't know. Okay, and um, what time of day do you think it is? Um, I think uh, it's morning. Okay, and why do oh, you say actually, morning? I see sun, but uh, not uh, that. Uh... uh huh. Oh, the connect. In that day. Okay. All right. So we have a female reporter. Uh, sometimes they say correspondent. Yeah. And she's standing outside, okay. and she, she's facing the camera, and she's probably talking about something. All right. Should we see it in motion? Are you ready? Okay, okay. All right, here we go. It's kind of fast, but can you tell me what's happening? <laughs> yes, it's um, the the... The ground is falling, right? Right, sure. Is this a ground or she's on building or I don't know. This is a ground, right? Sure, we could say the street, maybe the road or the ground, sure. Yes. yes. Okay, I think she's reporting about uh, weather or... Uh, uh, I don't know when the ground shaking. What is, what is, I don't know what's it called. Um, ah, er, earthquake. Yes, yes, earth, earthquake. Yes. Uh huh. Maybe she's reporting about that. Sure, and sometimes when there are earthquakes, there's a big one, and then sometimes there are small ones that happen after. So maybe, maybe she was talking about the big one. And at the same time, there yes. was a, another one, and all of a sudden, the road collapsed. Let's see. Yes. You know yes. the word. Maybe that's why uh, nobody on the street, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good, right? So, let's see. Let me put the word there. We can say the road collapsed. We can yes, also yes, say. The, uh, the we can also say the road caved in. Caved in, okay. Caved in, right. So suddenly, <laughs> it was... Go ahead. It's, uh, this word is uh, new, uh, new or new <laughs> oh, for me. Okay. Well, it's great. Okay. That's good. And why Why do you think the reporter is... Yeah, uh, go ahead. 
Um, is my accent is right or I have a lot of mistake when I talk? Well, I think there are mistakes, but I wouldn't worry about that because I think mistakes are wonderful because <laughs> they help us to to move forward. I it's yes. I think I think many people think about mistakes and they're like, "Oh no, it's a bad thing." But it might be awkward, but actually it's a very good thing because the more mistakes you make in the future, you'll keep making mistakes, but right now we'll make simple mistakes and then we won't make those mistakes anymore. And we'll make more advanced mistakes, and we'll keep moving forward. Yeah. Yes. So uh, I feel embarrassed when um, when I talk uh, with someone. Yeah, here in Egypt, or I uh, travel to Saudi Arabia. So there's a lot of people speak English. Okay. Um, I feel worried to speak English with them. So I start to speak uh, Arabic with them. Their Arabic is so um, weak. The <laughs> yeah, English is too easy to them, but I choose to speak Arabic, so in most of the time they don't understand me, because I, I'm afraid to speak English with them. Well, you came live with me today. That shows a lot of confidence. Yes. <laughs> really? Thank you. <laughs> yes. I, Thank you. I, well, I'll give you a couple of things. One I said before is... We have to make mistakes to improve. If we if we don't make any mistakes, we just sit like this, then we'll never improve, right? <laughs> and I agree, yeah, it's right. awkward. Um, let's see, the language that I've studied, uh, Chinese, Spanish, Indonesian, uh, wow, I have made many, <laughs> many, yes, many mistakes. <laughs> but I think, yes. well, I would say try to focus on communication. Sometimes people are so worried about accent and sounding like a native speaker. And I would say it's better to focus on communicating like a native speaker so that it's easy to be understood. Yeah. Yes, yes, right, yes. Right. Yes. I, I think you'll do fine. If you have confidence and you're willing to just start speaking, you, you will improve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? Thank you. <laughs> Can you say um, that again? Uh, here, uh, uh, now I'm looking for a job and um, I've, I'm afraid that they don't accept me for because my English is not good. I always had that afraid that I... Uh, yeah, they don't accept me for, uh, for, for my English. So I really afraid when I have interview most of the time, it's um, going with English, not Arabic, even okay. here in Egypt. So I'm afraid that I don't accept it for my English. Okay. Well, I think it's okay to be afraid. That's fine. The next step is what do, what do we do next, right? You've probably heard the word courage, right? Or people that are brave. Yes. Uh, some, someone, someone's yes. a hero. I guarantee... I guarantee they are afraid, but they become a hero or a courageous because they move forward. They feel the fear, and they're like, yes, I'm scared, <laughs> but I'm going to move forward. I'm going to, because I want something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You encourage me. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, if, if you want it bad enough, you will find a way. And will there be difficult times in between? Yes, that's a guarantee. So if you could just think, you know, okay, it, it will be difficult. I know it, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. And then eventually the things that you thought were difficult will be easy. <laughs> and then there will be okay, new so things that you're going to do. Right. Okay. Yes, yes. All right. Um, I guess uh, so I asked you a bunch of questions about the, the video. Do you have a question for me at all? No, no, no. That's uh, that's really good. Thank you. I enjoy your time with you. <laughs> sure, and thank you. And if I'm just sometimes I don't always see the comments, but the people here are very nice. They're saying she's great. You're a dear. Good job. Your English is good. So even the people here in the comments, they're they're congratulating, they're encouraging you. <laughs> yes, that's I wonderful. read the comments. Really, thank you, guys. <laughs> sure. All right.
Okay. Well, I guess we'll move to the next person. So I'm going to say uh, shokran. Yes. Uh, yes, shokran. <laughs> Okay. Your Arabic All right, well, is really good, and your accent is, is uh, clean too in Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> well, the little bit of Arabic that I studied was Egyptian Arabic, and and sometimes when I speak with someone from a different country that speaks Arabic, they're like, hmm. <laughs> but I, <laughs> I I I chose Egyptian Arabic because it from when I, I did my research, it seems like everyone watches. Egyptian movies, right? <laughs> so yes, right, yes. So, so, th so it seemed to me a good idea to study that Arabic because everyone will understand yes. it. Yeah. Um, you can uh, see the old movies uh, because they, uh, the language is uh, easy and clear. Nowadays, uh, the the English, uh, no English, sorry, the Arabic accent is too fast, and I think that would be. Maybe hard to you to know. So I, I t maybe you if you watch the, the old Arabic movie, it will be fine for start. You know. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming live. I like your confidence. Thank you. You too. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we'll see you next time, and you're welcome to come back in the future. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Okay. I think she did fabulous. So I, I would clap and say, way to go. And I wanted to, uh, she, she talked about some very important things when you're studying a language, is that you will be afraid or you'll feel uneasy, or you'll feel uncomfortable, or you'll feel awkward, and you'll feel strange, and it's like, ah, ah. <laughs> Say, ah, I was so afraid. At that moment, that's what will decide how things turn out, right? If when you're afraid, and, you're, and you go like a turtle, and you go back into your shell, right? Or if you're afraid, and you're like, I feel awkward and afraid, but I'm going to move forward. Oh, wow, then you can really improve. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you, if you heard my timer went off, so I'm not finished, but I want to restart my live so that uh, Instagram doesn't cut me off, okay? So I see there's a few followers today and there are a few requests, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart my live so that Instagram won't cut me off with their one-hour timer, okay? So I'm going to end this live and restart it and I'll be back in like you know 10 seconds, okay? I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, it says I am live. Let's see if anyone comes back. It might have been a little bit longer than 10 seconds. Here I am again. Let's take a drink. All right, toast. Hello, hello. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's jump right into the next picture. And just to review the last one, it was a reporter. She was talking, and the road caved in. <laughs> Probably another earthquake. All right, so let's see what we have for requests. Thank you, everyone, for coming back. All right, let's see. It's SNSN831. Let's see. <laughs> okay, thank you, everyone, for coming back. I want to make sure I have the full time. Hello? Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fabulous. Can I get your name and where you're from? Uh, my name is Pihu and I'm from India. India. Let's yeah. see. And Hindi or uh, Urdu or what language oh. do you speak? Uh, Hindi. Hindi. So I say Namaste and Daniyavad for coming live. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Namaste for uh, greeting and thank you for uh, Daniyavad. Yes. All right. Success. <laughs> okay. So have you seen one of my lives before? Do you know what we're going yeah. to do? Yeah, I know everything because I am writing something in comments and I am following you from last, since so many days. So I can't judge our counter one day because I'm following you from last one or three, four, five months. 
Fabulous. Great. Okay. <laughs> I, all right. I think I've just started going live in the last couple of weeks. So we're going strong. Are you ready for your picture? Um, yeah. Let's have enthusiasm. Yes. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Let me pick the picture. And I'm going to switch the camera around. Here we go. Okay, and let me focus. Whenever you're ready, whenever you can see it, go ahead and uh, with what you see. Let's see. Are you still there? Yeah, but it's okay. not so. All right, let me see what I can do. It's not going to be perfect because, yeah, let me see if I can help this. Sometimes that helps to make it focus a little bit better. But you know for sure it's going to be a reporter, right? Or a correspondent. There we go. That's a little bit better. So can you describe what you see? Uh, yeah, she's a girl uh, standing in front of a building and she she's holding a mic, which is green color. And top her uh, his uh, uh, that mic top is black in color. She wear a black jacket with, I think she wear also a scarf, a white color scarf. And... Uh, she is listening to something and uh, she is reporting to somebody else. I think she's uh, she's in front of building. Uh -huh. That building is not so clear. So there is uh, some people behind her. And I can't see clearly other things. Okay. Well, yeah. I, think, I think that was fabulous. And why is she... Uh, well, how about this? Can you describe which hand is doing what for her hands? Her uh, her right hand is uh, she is listening is listening something with her uh, right hand and she's holding mic in her uh, left hand. Okay. And, and what do you, what do you, uh, Go ahead, sorry. Yeah, she is reporting some uh, something to somebody else. Aha. Uh -huh. And yeah. what do you think she's looking at right now? Uh, she's looking in front of camera and uh, uh, she's reporting. Okay. And why do you think she's touching her ear with her right hand? Uh, as I told you that she is listening because somebody is asking something and she is reporting to that person. Uh huh. And so what, what is inside her ear that allows her to hear someone else? Uh, uh, might be there is a, a microphone. Sure, we could say earphone or a, a mini headphone. Sure. Yeah, mini. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what do you think her expression is? Her facial expression? Uh, she is listening very calmly and very peacefully and uh, concentrating on, uh, on somebody else who is asking uh, for her reporting. Okay. I think she's so conscious about, um, about <laughs> listening. She's focused, I think. <laughs> Very focused, and oh, you're right. I know the background. The background is not really clear, but we can kind of see a little bit. Do you have any thoughts about what location she's at? Uh, maybe it's stadium, uh, football, cricket stadium, like that, or maybe there is a building and there is some terrorist um, in that building, and she's reporting about them. Sure, that's lots of possibilities. And yeah. if, it, if it was in the U.S., would we say a football sta stadium or what do Americans call football? <laughs> oh my God, pardon, please. What do Americans call football? Uh, I don't know. Football is football. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're unique and maybe there's another, maybe the U.K. too. We say soccer. <laughs> But okay. wh why? I don't know, but we do, and everybody else in the world says football. And then... But football is, uh, which is known for everyone, and soccer is very, uh, I mean, strange word, which is not uh, well known to others. Uh-huh. And I think the reason that we use soccer is because, is because when we think of football, we think of American football. Mm -hmm. The ones where they use the big pads and they have the brown ball. But yeah, okay, all right. So, are you still there? Yeah, I'm yeah. listening to. You. 
Okay, wonderful. So we've described the woman. It's a female reporter or female re respondent. Uh, she is very focused, and she has the microphone up to her lips, ready to talk and deliver her message. Are you ready for it to be in motion? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me just find it. Here it is. To see that moment because, oh, my God. <laughs> so what happened? Uh, that football <laughs> stuck in her head and she is just shout oh <laughs> <laughs> and would you say it, it was would you say it was a surprise or she knew it was coming obviously she is uh, very focused toward uh, her reporting and uh, and she is obviously she is standing in uh, football or soccer place where the players are playing football and uh, they just hit the I mean, kick the ball, and that ball stuck on her head, and she is shout, "Oh my God, what the <laughs> hell is?" <laughs> Can you think of another word to say surprised? Surprise. Um, or a similar word. Surprise. Strange, not strange, but surprise. How about shocked? Do you think that would work? Yeah, she's yeah shocked. Okay, and what do you think the difference is between surprised and shocked? They're similar. Surprise is a polite word, like somebody gift, gifted me something, and that is surprise. But somebody's uh, shocked means somebody uh, somebody is uh, uh, met with an accident, and uh, uh, that. If somebody is giving me that news that he is stuck with or uh, he is uh, met with an accident and that is might be shock okay so which one do you think is more positive and which one is more negative usually shock is a negative word and surprise is positive word right and it it depends on the situation <laughs> you could yeah. you, you could you could say i was walking home and I was surprised when the man pulled out a gun and robbed me. <laughs> yeah, and that, would, that is also a talk, not a surprise. Right, that would be a negative surprise. So, okay. Yes. Um, and I think you already said, but what do you think she's going to say in the next few moments, or what's going to happen? Uh, she is standing in a soccer place, so she might not uh, gonna say anything to uh, players. But yeah, after going uh, from that place, she definitely scolded them and she abusing a very badly man. <laughs> <laughs> and, because, and after that, he is feeling that pain and that pain is very worse. Uh -huh. And do you think that she kind of takes a risk by standing there? Yeah, yeah. Mm, but not so much because football is not so heavy so <laughs> she can bear a small pain. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's a um, uh, cricket ball, so definitely her head is going to crack in between. I, I just have to read one of the comments. It's Ain't the Same says, no pain, no gain. In this case, no pain, no game. <laughs> yeah, if she she want to report to somebody else, she have to stand in that stadium and she have to report about their players and... She is doing her job, by the way. Uh huh. Right. And do you think she will keep reporting, or do you think she will stop for a moment to uh, take a break and you know see how? No, no, no. She's a reporter. She she gonna say everything about the players. Even she gonna uh, tell about that hitting ball uh, <laughs> and touch her head. He's a reporter. She uh, she wants to write something. Right. And it's probably it might hurt her head. It's probably good for ratings, though. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And this is something that possibly, well, let me ask you, is this something that could possibly go viral on the Internet? Yeah, if somebody is uh, capturing her or picturing her or filming her, so it's going to viral. As you have this video, so it's going to viral. <laughs> It is already viral. And can you explain to everyone who's not sure what the word means, what does it mean if something goes viral? Uh, viral means uh, uh, 
i capture a picture i capture my picture and it is uh, gone to wrong or somebody else and uh, that is spread toward to different different kind of persons and uh, different different places right so suddenly it's really popular <laughs> and everybody yes everybody wants to watch uh huh person popular right and when you hear the word viral do you think of something that's long term or short term um it could be a short a uh, short uh, period of time and uh, it might be for a long period of time it depend on the person sure and it also de- yeah. also depends if something else crazier happens right <laughs> yeah that's why i told you that uh, it is depend on person to person sure and if this was a movie i guess a really really short movie <laughs> what title would you give the movie football <laughs> <laughs> Un- unlucky reporter or right or maybe the wrong place at the wrong time yeah or uh, my be there is one uh, comment is there no pain no gain <laughs> yeah right so it's a movie <laughs> or maybe this is the right place at the right time if this helps her network get better ratings and then they can get yeah. make more income so right yes Okay, so I'm going to switch back around. And is there anything else you want to say about this video before I switch and ask if you want to ask me a question? No, very bizarre. I know it's something uh coming be- very uh, weird which is not uh, nobody want to see but it's very funny to see. Okay. And uh ex- about her it's very it's very uh improving and uh, it's very much helpful for us who are learning English. So it's <laughs> Okay. Really. All right. So I'll, I'm going to flip back around cuz the video keeps re- yeah. repeating. <laughs> and after a while, yeah. like, oh. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay. So, well, uh do you have anything any anything else you would like to say? Mm, I am following you for the long time and I think uh you are showing different kind of pictures and which is very helpful us to improving our English and uh uh i am improving because you giving a uh, different idioms and different words and different different pronunciation every day so i'm just following you thank you for the all these things oh well thank you for following and participating because without you guys i'm kind of lonely talking to myself <laughs> <laughs> no but uh, i think you are uh, improving everyone and in, and it's not in india but it's Egypt and Indonesia and all so many countries even in USA uh, it's really 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 appreciating okay well thank you very much and thank you for coming live I, 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 uh, about my English uh, I am improving or uh, there is some lacking well I think you speak you speak very confidently you speak at a very a paceful good pace English you answer my questions immediately you know what the vocabulary i'm talking about i and i try to adjust my conversation to the level of the person that i'm talking with so i tried to ask you more specific questions or uh other ways to say something or what does this mean and from what i could tell you answered everything with flying colors <laughs> i guess that would be an idiom with flying colors you did very well successful success <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> all right thank you for time with me okay All right. Well, uh have a good evening probably, right? Uh no, it's a night time. Already it's, night? Uh wait till clock. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming on. You're welcome to come back in the future and uh yeah, sure. Dhanivad and we'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. How many of you have been hit in the head <laughs> by a football? Mm. I I wonder how fast it was going, maybe not so fast and strong, because if it was like a really strong kick, it probably would have knocked her over. But still, it was enough to <laughs> wake her up. <laughs> Who needs coffee in the morning when you have a a football smacking you in the head? Okay. So, let's see if I have another one. I do. I have another one. another reporter video and if you guys notice there's always something that happens 
to the reporter or happens to the correspondent. And so far, uh, an earthquake, a car almost got ran over, and the last lady got hit in the head. Anyone's guess what the next one is? Okay, let's see who is requesting. All right. Let's see. All right, let's go to the, the top one. So he's waiting for Rosie, Rosie Roney, Rosie Roney, Rosie Ronnie, maybe. Okay. Oh, another person from Egypt, and I'm not sure if your video is going to come in. It just shows that it's loading. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. So you can hear me. Okay. Is that right? Okay. All right. So, uh, were you, were you going to turn on your video or were you going to cover your face? Okay, so I guess it doesn't matter because it just <laughs> it just shows that it's trying to load. But either way, okay. Someone's whispering. <laughs> okay, so have you seen one of our lives before? Do you know what we're going to do? Okay. And uh, could you tell me what you think? Okay. And what are we going to do today? Do you know? Yes. And? Okay. All right. So let's see if we'll get started. I'm getting my picture ready. All right. I'm going to switch the camera around. And whenever it comes into focus, tell me what you see. Okay. Anything else? Hello? Okay, and what makes you think that it's a market? Right. Do you know what? Uh huh. Go ahead. Okay, and our connection is not really good right now. I'm having a difficulty hearing you. Um, let's see. Can you hear me okay? Huh, because if the connection is not good, then it's not very good for for both of us. Let's see what happens. Because on mine, it just shows that it's loading, and maybe it's still trying to load the audio, too. Let's see. And I have, see people down below in the comments saying they can't hear anything. So, I'm unfortunately, I'm going to end this call because the connection is bad, okay? Okay, thank you for coming on, though. Thank, I like your confidence. Okay, all right. Unfortunately, the connection was not very good on that one. So let's see who else is there. Okay, let's see. Let's go with Muslim. Muslim. Mus oh, it says unable to join. Okay, let's see. Let's see if someone else is going to come. All right, fifth. F T H G C M Z. Fifth <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to. Re All right, hopefully we can see Hello. someone. Say Hello, Hi, how are you? <laughs> can can I get your name and where you're from? Koi. <laughs> Hello, Hi, I'm from <laughs> Turkey. From Turkey. Okay. Uh, how are you? Um, yeah. Fabulous. Okay. Connection is poor, I think. Yeah, let's see. We'll give it. We'll give it a moment. <laughs> but if it's a bad connection, we won't keep going. But we'll give it a try. Okay. Okay. I hope. I hope it will be better. Well, I'll turn. Uh, I'll, I'll go back to the picture. I like your. <laughs> go ahead. Sorry. Okay. I, I I like your program. I like your what you want to do. I am very appreciate for that. <laughs> Thank you so much. When you say program, I think of like so TV program. 
<laughs> I guess Instagram program. So, okay, I'm going to switch around and you take a look at the picture okay. and you tell me what you see, okay? Okay. All right. All right. I see a journalist. I think it's from uh maybe Pakistan, maybe Okay. Uh, uh his countries uh he's trying to explain something. He's a reporting on the back side beside of him I think there is a what uh, kind of thing I cannot see very well. There is okay. a man behind of him. He is wearing we white shirt and what else he has a beard like me but more than me <laughs> <laughs> okay what what can i say more how uh, old i can see go ahead how old is he i think he is 35 40 around years yeah. old how about his clothing he uh, wears uh i think a pair blue shirt okay uh, and, and i think he wears a pan pants <laughs> hopefully <laughs> 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 and uh um, how, what would you <laughs> what kind of shirt do you think it is What would you call it? A t-shirt, a dress shirt, a long sleeve shirt? What would you say? I think it's long shirt, <laughs> not sleeve shirt. Like uh, he's tried to be a uh, like formal uh, right. formal uh, suit kind of suit. I think maybe it can be hot or closed area. Okay. But And it's not, so not closed I think. Someone in the comment said he's getting a report at a traditional market. Maybe he's at a market. Yeah. Do you th think that's possible? Yeah, it is. Okay. Kind And of, yeah. What is he holding in his hand? He is holding a microphone. Uh he's journalist. He's try trying to report something about a region, traditional things. Okay. And on his microphone, it looks like there's a white box. Can you describe what yeah. is, what is that for? What's the purpose? It, it belongs to some uh, Channel. channels, yes. And <laughs> I <Yeah>. think uh, <laughs> I think you you have a, a you have channel. a coach. <laughs> yeah, have she's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> what wonderful. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> She says hi to you. <laughs> okay. All of you. Hold on. Okay, so the white yeah. box is for his channel, maybe his network. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not. Yes. I, there is a sign, but I cannot see very well. Below, I, I think his channel. Right. I can't see it either, but it's a good way to advertise who he works for. Right. His news network yeah okay so we have a man or a reporter you could say a journalist a correspondent a reporter he's standing in the market and could you describe his facial expression facial facial or his can his, you his, <laughs> sure. explore the <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, here, let Patient me, means. here, I will type it on the screen, okay? Okay. Facial expression, facial, uh, facial. facial. I don't know. So, hey, we don't know facial. <laughs> okay. No, no, no worries, right? That's what I'm here for is to help. So facial has to do with face, right? So his face and expression. Oh, right here. Uh -huh. He has an oval shape, like uh, spherical, uh, okay. like uh, round he face. He has a small nose, not like me. A facial <laughs> facial. Uh, he he uses 
beard. Uh, emotion. So expression. Expression is similar to emotion. What kind of emotion is he emotion. communicating to us? Mm. He's angry, I think. He's not <laughs> angry. He's cool. He's surprised, maybe for yeah. something. I heard someone someone <laughs> say he's angry. <laughs> oh, <Yeah. laughs> mm, yeah, he's tired. I. <laughs> It's easy to see. See, maybe he's frustrated. <laughs> maybe, yeah, because of the uh, man beside of him. Right. And he's like, I'm so tired of standing outside. I want to go into the air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Right. And you mentioned his beard before. We can say he has, whoop, has, he has a beard. full beard. Full beard, yeah. Okay, so we have a reporter in the market, and he's very serious. He's probably talking about yeah. something that's not very funny, but he's talking. Are you ready to see it in motion? Yes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna start it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, he, he become happy. <laughs> he likes his job. <laughs> okay. They are so tell friendly. Me, tell, tell me in English what happened. <laughs> no, he's, he's happy. He's not someone. So his situation... He was so bad. He he was so uh, serious, and he okay. suddenly appeared, and he made him happy <laughs> by kissing <laughs> from his head. Right. By his head, I don't know. Maybe maybe the guy was thinking, this guy is too serious. I'm going <laughs> to kiss <laughs> his head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so what what was his reaction? What was the reporter's reaction? Uh he not react uh what bad he, he enjoyed his situation. <laughs> And his reaction, <laughs> actually not, uh, he become happier because of uh, seeing the um, friendship <laughs> behavior, right. I don't know. Right. Um, I would think that maybe at first he was surprised. Yes, of then, course. And then maybe he was, he thought it was funny. Uh, and he, he felt yeah, that. Yeah. He felt humor. Enjoy. Uh, right. Or enjoy. enjoy. <laughs> and do, do, do you think, does he know the guy who kissed his head? Or do you think it's a stranger? Oh, it can be stranger. But he does not he react uh, so hard. I think it can be familiar to him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's possible. And it's possible that some people might feel angry if that happened. Do you think? Yeah, it immediately happened. Do you think... Um, um, go ahead. Couldn't contract to him. <laughs> okay. So... Um, do you think, will he continue to report? I think our connection's going out. Okay. The and man. do you think, will he continue to report the news? No. <laughs> he couldn't. <laughs> he stopped <laughs> reporting. <laughs> 
Right. So what what do you think he will do next? I think he will going an iron club. No, maybe not. <laughs> he mm, he will continue his uh, news I think after that. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. So we if i describe it i would say there was a very serious reporter and he was yeah. he was talking about yeah. something on the news very focused and suddenly a man came up and touched his chin and gave him a kiss on on the side of his head <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, and and suddenly the reporter wasn't serious anymore he was surprised and then he thought it was oh, yeah. and he started to laugh so <laughs> may, maybe it improved his day <laughs> yeah he made his day i think right <laughs> <laughs> right That's, then he he become happier <laughs> right i think you said it made his day that's right he improved his day it yeah. made a much better day so he can smile now yeah Yeah. Okay. All right. Well done. So I'm going to turn back around. Cuz when it it, it continues to re- repeat and repeat. And re- <laughs> <laughs> so, uh I asked you questions. Do you have any question for me? Thank you so much. We are very appreciate to meet with you. We are following you. Oh, well, thank you. I'm patient. <laughs> It's very useful conversation. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> as you heard it, as you heard her. <laughs> well, I say thank you to you and your and your coach. <laughs> <laughs> she she says You're thank welcome. you as well. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, uh Tashakur el Rim and uh I guess we're finished on, <laughs> unless you have anything else to mm-hmm. say. Jai Dars. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay. All right, have a, we are so happy. <laughs> have a good evening. Have a good day. Oh, good day. You too. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Wonderful. All right, you guys are great. All right, let's make sure I finished up with my stuff here today. Let me take a look at the comments cuz that one <laughs> that one was kind of unique, right? The first three we had uh what do we have? Maybe I'll just show you guys. We can review in case anyone just popped in. So this was the one we just did. Today the theme was reporters, right? And you could say reporters, you could say journalists, you could say correspondents, right? But there are people that are trying to talk about the news, right? So the first one was a guy <laughs> who almost got hit by a car right but he didn't get hit someone helped him to get out of the way so he was all right so this was kind of a negative one cuz he almost had an accident the second one was a female reporter who was reporting from outside and suddenly the road disappeared <laughs> the road caved in right it was destroyed maybe there was an earthquake But either way this one was kind of negative too. Something bad happened. Then number 3, we had the lady who was at a football stadium and pow. <laughs> She got hit in the head with the football. So this is another negative one cuz something bad or negative happens to the reporter. However, it's always good to end on a happy one, right? So this reporter, he seems very serious. He's going to talk about the news and then something interesting happens. <laughs> Another man came up and maybe the other guy was thinking, "Man, this reporter is way too serious. So this what can I do to make him laugh?" <laughs> okay. Okay. So today's theme was reporters and Uh next time we'll have a theme as well and I think our next live is on Wednesday so just in a few days and I'm going to try to do themes because it's a good way to build vocabulary about a certain subject 
So today, correspondent, journalist, reporting, reporter, network, news network. <laughs> and if you notice, when they hold their microphone, almost, let's see, like, let's, if this is their microphone, almost all of them have some sort of box right here, right? And it's just for advertising their network, right? Okay. So I think that's it for today. Let's take a look at the comments just quick. You guys are great with the comments. It's very nice. All right. All right. Ain't the same. He will move to another spot <laughs> to report from, probably, because he needs to, you know, do his job. Can't have too many people coming up to kiss you on the head, right? All right. Okay. Oh, no, lots of requests to join, but I'm at the end of my live for today. All right, Ain't the Same says, this themes thing is a brilliant idea. Great. I hope it, it helps you. It should work well with vocabulary, phrases, conversation about a specific top topic. And I'll try to do something that's a little bit funny <laughs> because I think when things are funny, then it's more interesting, right? What is the next theme? That will be a secret. <laughs> All right. Okay. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for coming. All right. It's time for my tradition. And here we go. So Arabic, shokran. English, thank you. French, merci. Uh, German, danke. Hindi, daniyavad. Uh, Urdu is shukriya, means thank you. Japanese, arigato. Um, Korean, kamsa hamnida. Mandarin Chinese is she she. Uh, Cantonese is doce, Hakkin Chinese is gumsia, Indonesian terimakasi. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, da, da. Italian grazie, uh, Portuguese obrigado, Spanish is gracias, which is gracias por estar con nosotros. Uh, American Sign Language is thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> and let's see Russian spasiba, and. Oh, Kurdish says supas, supas, supas. Oh, supas. That sounds the same as similar to Farsi, right? Farsi is sepas. So maybe Kurdish says supas. Similar, huh? Okay. And I think, all right. You guys are wonderful. I'd like to keep going, but I have a time schedule. <laughs> okay. Until next time, I will make sure that this one is live. I will share it with you guys. It will be there for 24 hours. And I'll try to download it and stick it on YouTube. All right. So thank you very, very much for joining the live and participating. And we'll see you next time.